My name is Lydia Schilden. I am a Portuguese uh, education activist and entrepreneur. Uh, lately, I, I, I co-founded Startup Pirates as a, as a one-week startup school for one of the entrepreneurs. And lately, I've been growing the, the organization and try to reach as many countries as possible and try to make an impact in terms of global entrepreneurship and foster entrepreneurship around the world. We, have, we create a methodology of one-week startup school we have, where we have training, uh, workshops on different topics like um, business models, product development, pitch, and so on. And we also uh, invite entrepreneurs to mentor the, the participants. Uh, and in the end, they have to present their ideas to a group of investors. So basically, that is the, our methodology. And right now, we are bringing this methodology to different cultures, different ecosystems, and help people create companies. Basically, after our, uh, our two programs, one in Porto, one in Lisbon, in Portugal, we, are, we have now five startups. One of them already closed a round of investment of, of, of 200,000 euros and, uh, and is going uh, to an acceleration program outside Portugal. The other two are in acceleration programs in Portugal and basically they are, all of them are in incubators trying to make, uh, develop their product and launch their product in the market. I would say that they are um, they are in an early stage to say that they are very successful, but at least they are fighting and they are being, being quite successful in what they are doing. Is your model globally adaptable or deployable? It is, it is basically because um, we work with local partners, we work with incubators, acceleration, acceleration programs, universities and people in general that know the local eco ecosystem, know who are the, uh, the major players and can bring these major players to the, to the Startup Pirates program. So we don't, of course I, I don't go to other countries organize the Startup Pirates, we just partner with someone that really knows what the, the, the local community needs and has. What does Startup Pirates mean for formal education, traditional schools? What's the implications for them? I think, it's a, I think they are complementary, basically. Uh, what we are doing is providing a different kind of education, more hands-on, uh, hands where we bring people that actually are in the market, know very well the market, are successful in what they are doing, and they just share their lessons learned, their experience, and we make sure that our participants, in the end, they have something to show, a product to show, and something that they can keep uh, working on. I think, basically, this is something that we have been doing since last year, uh, since September. Uh, we are now growing, uh, we are in 10 countries, 4 continents, so from China to, to Brazil, and it's very interesting for us, and we, we want to reach as many people as possible, and we want to keep uh, creating companies and helping uh, young entrepreneurs create, uh, create companies. Basically, we are, we, we are using networks. Uh, we, we believe in the power of people and the power of bringing people together. They don't have to be connected with a big institution. What they need is to have the energy and the will to actually do something for their local uh, startup community. So basically, this is a very small organization, completely bootstrapped. And what we are what we are doing is to go to conferences, talk to a lot of people, tap our networks, make sure that we explain well what we are doing, and people just uh, welcome us with open arms. And it's been an amazing experience to see how important and how eager people are for a program like Startup Pilot.